Greetings YouTube. How's everybody doing today? Today is Wednesday the 29th, I think it is. Uh, it's been a gloomy day right here. Raining. Ain't nothing really going on. But, <clears throat> I got a snap-on guy that comes past my house, usually on Wednesdays. I've seen him, I don't know, three or four or five times. And I got off work today and I ran into him. And I, you know, I introduced myself and talk to him and I want to see if he has something different from what my other snap-on guy usually has and he he does he got a lot more tools on there than my other snap-on guy does but today <clears throat> I've been looking for him and I finally found him Knipex these Knipex pliers or um, channel locks however you want to say the Knipex Cobras is what they're called. Nice. These little miniature guys, these little miniature Knipex tools, these tools right, this 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 brand right, or I'm sorry, this um, channel lock right here is amazing. I mean, just look how wide you can get. You, what is that, probably about an inch and a quarter? This right here probably do about 70% of connecting, like hoses, um, maybe um, hydraulic lines. I don't know. But there's a guy at my work, and I probably said this in another video. He keeps these in his pocket at all times. Whenever I go to him, I, I ask him, you got a pair of pliers? He'll pull these right out of his pocket, he, one of our mechanics. And he does... He, he hands me these, and I'm like, man, I got to get me a pair of them. Well, I ran to a snap-on guy today. He had them on his truck. Now, they're expensive, guys. These are, they're like 45 bucks. But if you know Knipex pliers and tools and stuff, they're expensive. I got some more Knipex pliers over there that I got at Sears when they were closed, and I got them for half price. And I'll show you them, and also, I got a flyer off of him, too. Uh, the ultimate go go karts is what they call them. So, I'll show you my other pair of Knipex I got. I try to get a little bit of everybody's. See these right here? I got these here at Sears, but these right here are not the push button Knipex. These right here, you you pretty much got to adjust them and get them to get them to fall in their slot. That's what these are. Those over there are the push button Knipex. And I'll probably pick up some more of them. Also got these right here, Knipex. These are like the adjustable adjustable uh, wrench style, but these are push button. See the push button? So you can adjust it where you want it. Then, I got the smaller set over here. Now guys, they sell they sell these here, they're called T-Rex um, at Napa. You get the three set for 100 bucks, which is pretty good deal. Because these pliers right here, guys, all of them are around 50 to 60 bucks a pair. These right here, I think was like 40. These right here, was, I think they were like 65. And I got another pair. Oh, these right here... These, I think, are about 50. And this right here is my, it's either the medium size or the, the large size. Because there's, there's another set of these that are smaller. And I think the larger set. And here's my other small pair of Knipex. So, but these ain't the push button ones. Ugh. These right here are the push button ones. You just push it, and you adjust it, and they lock into place. Why these things are so expensive? Well, for one, they're made in Germany. Germany, as you guys know, makes... Germany and Irish is pretty much what built the United States on top of slave labor. But Germany has some of the best stuff. That's why their cars last forever and are so expensive, and the parts are so expensive. Because, I mean, BMWs, Mercedes-Benz, getting five, 600,000 miles out of them. Because they just, they know how to build stuff, guys. And, they, you know, when, when a lot of people left uh, 
Europe and came to the United States because we were a freer market. The Germans and the Irish came with them. And the Germans are great engineers. I just wish they'd get rid of their uh, their dictator over there. But that's another time and another day. All right, we're going to go into the uh, Snap-on catalog here. Uh, he had a couple of these carts on there. I didn't want to get into it because I, I really... I want one, but I don't want one. I don't want to pay the price. And these are all your colors that they come in. Get it back. See if it'll focus a little bit. There we go. So you can get the numbers. And don't get me wrong, guys. I love Snap-on toolboxes. I think they're the best out there. Yeah, they're pricey, but every now and then you can find a good deal on one. I'm yet to get... Get this, the little toolbox. I've seen them on our trucks. And hang on a second, guys. Let me, there we go. This here probably help out a lot better. I can get it to focus on me. There we go. But I've seen them on our tool trucks, and I've always wanted one. But I never, you know, 129 bucks. I never really had 129 bucks to really throw at one right now. I ain't really been able to splurge on nothing. Now, this buy one, get one stuff here, guys. I just, there's something to it. I'm not going to really say. Because you buy these for $333, you get the ratchet for free. Yeah, I just, there's something to that, guys. I don't know. But um, they got their color of ratchets, which I love their ratchets. I love most people buy these, just collect them. They don't even use them. I'm one of them. I got my little collection going over here, you see. I got my little snap-on collection going on. And I'm yet to finish. I still got more to go. Um, looks like you buy this, this uh, Blue Point tool set here. Buy the tool, tool set. And they throw in a, a cart for you. 2030 i mean i love blue point tools too they're nice they're nice they got this uh i don't know if i can't really tell it looks like it might be a gray gray and black coming soon um i uh i like their little 14.4 volt line i really like that vertical drill that's a nice drill um I like their little line, especially their impacts. Everybody knows their impacts are nice. Um, these here are all the prices for their wobble sets. I like to get half inch wobble set. And uh, <clears throat> deep wobbles and everything. Let me show you. Those are the prices for everything. I got... I got both of these sets right here, the wobble and non wobble. And I probably got them off of eBay for about a hundred bucks a piece. And then um I got the uh I got the wobble set. I got my wobble set too. I got the wobble and non wobble. I got them for like a hundred bucks. Um these this price right here is about what they're going for on eBay. Sometimes I see them for 150, but it's rare. I rarely see the the half inch on there. But if you're a sporadic buyer like me, like I could have probably went on eBay and I might have been able to get a little better deal on these, but I didn't want to wait. He had them right there in front of my face. I had the money, and I got them. So uh, this right here is new to me. It's for Subarus. Sometimes I love these specialty tools. Next time I run into my snap on guy, I'll probably pick one of them up. Um, I guess these are all specialty sockets. And they're expensive, as you can see, for Subarus. But I like specialty tools like that. Bearing kit for Subaru. And I guess that's a half inch. Is that a. It's a Torx. I got a 70-inch Torx. I only got one, though. I got it from uh, 
I got it from, um, oh God, I can't even think of my tools now. I got so many daggone tools. Gear wrench. There we go. Gear wrench. Their air compressors, guys, pretty nice. I like to know who makes them. I don't know who really makes these things for them because I'm sure they don't make them. And they got a variety of prices. A lot of people know their diagnostic tools are like the best in the business, but there's other ones that are catching up to them. I think they own the Mitchell's uh, Diagnostic Center where you apply for it. And uh, I think it's like 150 bucks a month or something, and they, they kind of keep it updated. They tell you what the trend is on what cars, you know, like, uh, I don't know, just I'm going to throw this out there, like, say, a 2019 Chevy pickup truck, uh, the the 1500 is constantly having an issue with the steering column or something. And they're, they done did like 50 or 60 of them. And they'll post stuff on there like that. And they'll tell you what you need to do to fix them. Or if it's a recall or something. I'm not saying the 1500 is having issues. I'm just saying that that because I don't want people to flip out and say, oh, I didn't know that they, I just bought my 2019. I didn't know they were having issues. No, they're not having no issues. I just do that out there. So, all right, guys. Well, this will do it. This here is the. A snap on flyer for the April month of April and April's almost over and um, I hope you guys are having a great day out there like I said it ain't too bad around here I'm gonna right, work on something uh, I'm gonna film it here in a little bit uh, but I built me a, um, a clamp holder and I'll show it to you guys here in a little bit I'm gonna uh, well, you know what? I'll show it to you now. Now I'm going to show it to you after I paint it. I bought... A, I wanted me a clamp holder. So I made me one. And all this is is MDF. And dowel rods. I glued it on the back and then I stapled it on the back. Because this part right here, you can see my three school screw holes. So I can screw it to the wall. And I got me a bunch of clamps. I went to what was last the last Sears outlet in my neighborhood. And I went there to pay my bill the other day. And they had these packs of clamps. I got a ton more. They had these packs of clamps up there for... Um, oh, God. I think they were uh, $7.50 a pack. $36 to a pack. So I had to pick them up. Matter of fact, I got to go up there tomorrow. They got more. I'm going to pick up some more. So you never have too many clamps. You can never have too many tools. Never have too many tools. Like I said, I still got uh, two snap-on pullers I want to get yet. And I was down there at uh, Tractor Supply, and they got some pullers I want to get. But they're generic pullers, so that's why I'm buying my time. But like I always said in my videos, guys, there's no such thing as a junk tool. The junk ones are the ones you modify. You don't modify your good stuff. You don't modify this. You buy the junk one that's like $2, and then you, you modify that. So, all right, guys. Well, like this video. Share this video. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. I appreciate it if you don't cuss. If you don't like my videos, I you know, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for you because uh, I'm not hurting anyone. You came to my channel. I didn't come to your channel. So, I try to be fair and honest with people. I get you a long way. What goes around comes around. Remember that old saying? Well, the Bible also says, do unto others you want done unto you. So if you want to treat people nice, like I do, then you'll get treated nice. So, all right, guys, till the next time. Bye-bye.